This is the best staple gun I've ever used. What's happening, Panzer Nation? Peter Von Pan here. This is an arrow staple gun here, and this thing has so many interesting features. I wouldn't normally show this to you, but I used it all day today, and I want to give you a little tour of it and just what I love about this. So first of all, I just want to open up bolt here and take out the staples here. Just want to show you safety check. This thing is empty. We've got the little staples right here. These are three eighths of an inch staple so they're kind of your standard light duty staple i've got a whole box in here but we're just going to push that off to the side so that we know everything is clear and safety checked now i just want to show you this is such a smooth little action here we also have a flared bottom right here which is really nice because when i go ahead and put this in you can get your hands around this really easily it's kind of like wings so when you want to charge this it's really easy to pull it out so if you have arthritis weak hands slippery hands wet hands that kind of thing you can really get that and pull it out and you can just see how smooth that is there and it's really easy to grab that's very similar to the vp9 there so uh, obviously i really really like that and it's a small little thing there that clips in it's just kind of like a resistance clip there's a little latch right there but it just goes in just like that now i do want to show you here that i picked up these staples by arrow figured they would be totally compatible and despite this small size subcompact size here what we can do is we can load a whole row of these right just like that so they will go in just like that you will put the staple portion up but obviously that's a big load right there so if you're in a place like california or massachusetts something like that where you can't have all of those obviously a short small load will work just fine as well so you know stay compliant to your local area the other thing that i really love about this is you can see this little peephole here that's a loaded chamber indicator so if i go ahead and take the staples open this up go ahead and throw those in there like that and now close this up just like that what we have here is you can see at a glance we have how many staples we have loaded in there so that's a nice little feature here it's good for safety i want to just show you if i take those staples out here now close that chamber all you can see is the solid metal now i will say if you were to paint the slide or something Something here a different color red or something like that put a little decal on it might be a little more obvious when that is not showing any staples but it is kind of nice when you've got these in here you're down to your last few staples you take a little glance before you grab it to use it you can see oh yeah i've got staples in there so pretty cool now i will also say i always do a little press check here usually I'm gonna pull that out am i loaded yep good to go so i don't rely on that but it's a great little quick indicator so i'll go ahead and close that up again safety check now the really cool thing about this is it has this polymer construction i also like the colors here black and white there is no stippling there's no grip zone or anything here but i want to show you that it's kind of this hard polymer which makes it very light in the hand where it's white but anywhere that you see that it's black here is kind of a rubberized feel so you do get really nice grip here good texture you get a good purchase you can see my medium sized hands you can see the trigger guard right there i can get all my fingers in there even if you're wearing gloves it shouldn't be a problem you know your kind of standard leather work gloves mechanics gloves those types of things all right now obviously the most interesting thing about this is the way the trigger is most of these staple guns the pivot point will be up here and you'll be pressing down right there now the problem is when you're pressing down here it kind of wants to pivot the staple gun up like this it's kind of pivoting where you want all that pressure so the nice thing about this is when you're putting the pressure on this with the palm of your hand you are putting pressure right in line with the staples themselves so i really love that the bore axis right here is very low to where you're pushing on the trigger right here okay so this is very similar to like a 1911 uh, backstrap safety, you know, kind of very similar thing. So when you're squeezing here and holding it steady, you're also pressing here. And in fact, if you are pressing here and here, it's going to push this flush against the surface and then fire that in there. So that's really nice. Now I do want to show you here the action on this little bad boy. I really like it. It's pretty smooth. It's got some nice resistance. It's probably not the best action I've ever felt here, but I do want to show you that if I go ahead and squeeze this, there's some take up just right here, a little bit of slop, and then you start to feel that resistance and that resistance kind of builds. Now I will say there isn't a real clear wall. So kind of pressing right here, pressing, pressing, pressing. All right, I see here a little click right there, and then we keep pressing, it's still going in, and then we get that break right there. Now, the one thing I wanna tell you about this is the reset is quite long. So if I reset and open this up just like this, 
has a reset there. You think that's the reset, because you can hear click, but that's not the reset, right? It's not doing anything. So you gotta go all the way back here, release the handle, you'll hear it reset right there, and now you can go back and go ahead. So if you come back here, you get that false reset. Nothing's gonna happen. Now, I noticed that this is probably most obvious when you are stapling on the ceiling, which is what I was doing. And so what I was doing here is I was stapling on the ceiling and then I was using the weight of the handle to fall back down. And what I noticed is that basically to get this to release all the way, you have to put no pressure on it when it's upside down and then it will release, right? And the staple gun was kind of falling away from the ceiling a little bit to reset it and then I could put it back up. So you can't just staple and let it release and have that pressure and any pressure putting it up against the ceiling. But if you're stapling down or to the side here, probably not gonna be a problem, but you can just see here. There we go. False reset, full reset. Okay, so it's smooth, but it's not the smoothest, most crisp trigger I've ever felt. There's no aftermarket for this either. So what I think is the more you use it, the more it will probably smooth up a little bit for you. But you know, it's pretty good out of the box and especially for the low price point, this is meant for home use. You know, it's a fairly inexpensive, affordable staple gun here. You know, in about $20, I think you're still getting a really good value. What I love about it is it's small size, that inline bore axis right there, polymer construction, large capacity here, the little wings on the charging handle, and so I can forgive a little bit of the sloppiness, you know, it kind of feels like a, you know, two-stage trigger or something, but it works really well. I never had any of those hanging staples, the ones that went in part way, and I really think that having this reverse handle here, so the gun is pushing on the staple, and then you are firing that staple into your target there, I thought it was really good, and it's very accurate. I saw really good groups with this you know just very very consistent i had no failures to fire i had no misfeeds or anything like that the only thing i will say is that if you're stapling a lot you can go through a whole magazine of staples here pretty quickly and you do have to watch because it's not really obvious when you have on a dry fire like that no staple come out so you'll notice that this has made a little impression in what you're doing but you gotta make sure the staple is there because when you're empty it's not really obvious now you can go to a heavier duty medium duty Duty, full duty size staple gun you can even get longer staples than this three eighths of an inch is not as long as they make them but i have found that even on the small caliber like this they are very very good i think it's more important where you place the staple than the staple size so shot placement is probably more important to me than staple caliber here so yeah you can go bigger but i think for most people this is the only staple gun you're going to need at home and man i just really really like it so arrow makes a great product here you can actually use the arrow branded staples everything seems to work really well and after a full day's use already this thing has held up well my hands feel just fine they don't feel fatigued at all so this is really a pleasure to shoot so if you want to pick up the arrow staple gun i think it's the best subcompact light duty staple gun that you can buy and i'll put a link to it in the description below peter von panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper Better